Mediterranean cuisine is the foods and methods of preparation by people of the Mediterranean Basin region. The idea of a Mediterranean cuisine originates with the cookery writer Elizabeth David's book, A Book of Mediterranean Food 1950, though she wrote mainly about French cuisine. She and other writers including the Tunisian historian Mohamed Yassin Essid define the three core elements of the cuisine as the olive, wheat, and the grape, yielding olive oil, bread and pasta, and wine. Other writers emphasize the diversity of the region's foods and deny that it is a useful concept. The geographical area covered broadly follows the distribution of the olive tree, as noted by David and Essid. The region spans a wide variety of cultures with distinct cuisines, in particular going anti-clockwise around the region the Maghrebi, Egyptian, Levantine, Ottoman Turkish, Greek, Italian, Provençal French, and Spanish. However, the historical connections of the region, as well as the impact of the Mediterranean Sea on the region's climate and economy, mean that these cuisines share dishes beyond the core trio of oil, bread, and wine, such as roast lamb or mutton, meat stews with vegetables and tomato for example, Spanish andrajos and Italian chambada, and the salted cured fish roe, baderga, found across the region. Spirits based on anise are drunk in many countries around the Mediterranean. The cooking of the area is not to be confused with the Mediterranean diet, made popular because of the apparent health benefits of a diet rich in olive oil, wheat and other grains, fruits, vegetables, and a certain amount of seafood, but low in meat and dairy products. Mediterranean cuisine encompasses the ways that these and other ingredients, including meat, are dealt with in the kitchen, whether they are health-giving or not. Geography. <laughs> Topic by city and country. The cookery writer Elizabeth David's introduction to a book of Mediterranean food, 1950, defines her scope as the cooking of the Mediterranean shores. She sketches out the geographical limits as from Gibraltar to the Bosphorus, down the Rhone Valley, through the great seaports of Marseille, Barcelona, and Genoa, across to Tunis and Alexandria, embracing all the Mediterranean islands, Corsica, Sicily, Sardinia, Crete, the Cyclades, Cyprus where the Byzantine influence begins to be felt, to the mainland of Greece and the much disputed territories of Syria, the Lebanon, Constantinople, and Smyrna. By a key culinary plant David defines the region as coextensive with the range of the olive tree, those blessed lands of sun and sea and olive trees. The olive's natural distribution is limited by frost and by availability of water. It is therefore constrained to a more or less narrow zone around the Mediterranean Sea, except in the Maghreb and in Spain, where it is distributed more widely, and on the islands of the Mediterranean, where it is widespread. The Tunisian historian Mohamed Yassine Essid similarly defines the region by the olive's presence, along with bread, wheat, and the grape as the basic products of Mediterranean folk cuisine. Mediterranean cuisine is defined by the presence of fundamental elements which are said to play a more important role than others, reflecting a community of beliefs and practices which transcend religions, languages and even societies. The olive tree, the emblematic tree on more than one account, traces the bounds of a frontier of landscapes and lives on either side of which the Mediterranean begins or ends. Above Montelimer, nicknamed, Gates of Provence, is the limit of the olive. Key ingredients Essid, as already mentioned, identifies the trinity of basic ingredients of traditional Mediterranean cuisine as the olive, wheat, and the grape, yielding oil, bread, and wine respectively. The archaeologist Colin Renfrew calls this the Mediterranean triad. Olive. The olive appears to come from the region of Persia and Mesopotamia, at least 6,000 years ago. It spread from there to nearby areas, and has been cultivated since the Early Bronze Age up to 3150 BC in southern Turkey, the Levant, and Crete. 
The ten countries with the largest harvests in 2011 are all near the Mediterranean, Portugal being the tenth largest. Together, they produce 95% of the world's olives. The olive yields bitter fruits, made edible by curing and fermentation, and olive oil. Some 90% of the fruit production 1996 goes into olive oil. The Mediterranean region accounts for the world's highest consumption of olive oil. In 2014, the highest consuming country, Greece, used 17 kg per head, Italy, 12 kg, Spain, 13 kg, the United States for comparison used only 1 kg per head. Topic: Wheat Wheat was domesticated in the Fertile Crescent, in and near the Levant some 10,000 years ago. Its ancestors include wild emmer wheat, this was hybridized, harvested and sown to create domestic strains with larger grains, in ears that shatter less readily than wild forms. It had been spread across the Mediterranean region as far as Spain by 5000 BC. Wheat is a staple food in the Mediterranean region. Wheat bread was already critically important in the Empire of Ancient Rome, which included the entire region. At that time, around 2000 years ago, North Africa was the breadbasket of the empire. Other staple wheat-based Mediterranean foods include pasta and semolina, wheat middlings, products such as couscous and burgle. In turn, these are made into dishes such as the Greek dessert galactoboreko, milk boric, consisting of phyllo pastry parcels around a custard made with semolina. A widespread wheat dish from Turkey and the Levant to Iran and India is halva, a dessert of sweetened semolina with butter, milk, and pine kernels. <inaudible> grape The grape was domesticated between 7000 and 4000 BC between the Black Sea and Persia. Archaeological evidence shows that wine was being made there by 6000 BC, reaching Greece and Crete in the 5th millennium BC and Spain by the last millennium BC. Winemaking started in Italy in the 9th century BC, and in France around 600 BC grapes are mostly grown for making wine and vinegar as basic components of the Mediterranean diet, as well for drying as raisins or for eating as table grapes. Raisins and table grape varieties are chosen for their flavor. Grape production remains important in the Mediterranean area, with southern Europe accounting for 21% of the world's harvest. In 2014, Italy produced 6.9 million tons MT of grapes, Spain 6.2 MT, France 6.2 MT, Turkey 4.2 MT, and Germany 1.2 Mt. Wine production for Southern Europe was 37% of the world total in 2014, with Italy producing 4.8 MT, Spain 4.6 MT, France 4.3 MT, and Germany 0.9 Mt. History Concept. The concept of a Mediterranean cuisine is very recent, probably dating from the publication of David's A Book of Mediterranean Food 1950. David herself did not use the term, speaking instead of Mediterranean food, cookery, or cooking. The usefulness of the concept is disputed. Carol Helstosky, author of the book Food Culture in the Mediterranean 2009, is among the authors who use Mediterranean cuisine interchangeably with Mediterranean food. In the preface to her book she writes, Mediterranean food is incredibly popular, pasta, pizza, sausage, wine, gyros, kebab, and falafel can be found just about everywhere. Food experts and cookbook authors adore Mediterranean cuisine. Esset acknowledges that, geographical differences and the vicissitudes of history have affected the food of different Mediterranean lands, but nonetheless asserts that, Rules for the preparation and consumption of food are common to the lands that border the Mediterranean. They offer both stability, continuity and reproduction of a specific pattern of eating which resists conquest, invasion, colonization, social change, industrialization and urbanization. Consequently, wherever you go, in southern Europe or the lands bordering the southern Mediterranean, you will find a cuisine and gastronomic ritual which is always familiar. On the other hand, Sami Zubaida argues in his book Culinary Cultures of the Middle East 1994 that the idea of the 
standard Mediterranean is a modern construction of food writers and publicists in Europe and North America earnestly preaching what is now thought to be a healthy diet to their audiences by invoking a stereotype of the healthy other on the shores of the Mediterranean. Their colleagues in Mediterranean countries are only too willing to perpetuate this myth. The fact of the matter is that the Mediterranean contains varied cultures. The cookery author Clifford A. Wright wrote in 1999, "...there really is no such thing as Mediterranean cuisine. At the same time, we seem to know what we mean when we use the expression." Wright argued that David's book itself was largely about specifically French Mediterranean food, pointing out that, "...only 4% of her recipes come from North Africa or the Levant." Since David's time, a variety of books on Mediterranean cuisine have been written, including Abu Shihab's 2012 and J. R. Stevens' 2015 books of that name, Helstosky's 2009 book, already mentioned. Books by other cookery writers include S. Rose Purple Citrus and Sweet Perfume, Cuisine of the Eastern Mediterranean, 2011, and Marie Pierre Moine's Mediterranean Cookbook. 2014. There are many more cookbooks covering specific cuisines in the Mediterranean area, such as B. Santic's The Original Mediterranean Cuisine, Medieval Recipes for Today 1995, on Catalan and Italian recipes, and H. F. Ullman's 2006 on the cooking of Tunisia, Spain and Italy, each one subtitled, Mediterranean Cuisine. <laughs> Origins. The ingredients of Mediterranean cuisine are to an extent different from those of the cuisine of Northern Europe, with olive oil instead of butter, wine instead of beer. The list of available ingredients has changed over the centuries. One major change was the introduction of many foods by the Arabs to Portugal, Spain and Sicily in the Middle Ages. Those foods included aubergines, spinach, sugar cane, rice, apricots and citrus fruits, creating the distinctive culinary tradition of Al-Andalus. Another major change was the arrival of foods from the Americas in early modern times around the 16th century, notably the incorporation of the potato into northern European cuisine and the eager adoption of the tomato into Mediterranean cuisine. The tomato, so central now to that cuisine, was first described in print by Pietro Andrea Mattioli in 1544. Similarly, many of the species of Fasciolus beans now used around the Mediterranean, including P. vulgaris the French or haricot bean, were brought back from the Americas by Spanish and Portuguese explorers. Cooking David's introduction to her 1950 book characterizes the cooking of the Mediterranean countries as conditioned naturally by variations in climate and soil and the relative industry or indolence of the inhabitants." David identifies, "...the ever-recurring elements," in the food of this extensive region as olive oil, saffron, garlic, pungent, local wines, as well as the "...aromatic perfume." of herbs, especially rosemary, wild marjoram, and basil, and the bright colors of fresh foods in the markets. Pimentos, aubergines, tomatoes, olives, melons, figs, and shiny fish, silver, vermilion, or tiger striped. She includes cheeses of sheep's or goat's milk, figs from Smyrna on long strings, and sheets of apricot paste which is dissolved in water to make a cooling drink. With common ingredients including the olive, wheat, and grape, a shared climate, and a long period for cultural exchange, it might be expected that a single, pan-Mediterranean cuisine would have developed. Certain items, such as olive oil, bread, wine, roast lamb or mutton for example, Maghreb mechawi, Greek kleftiko and souvlaki, Turkish shish kebab, baturga, and stews of meat with vegetables and tomato such as Spanish andrajos, French estufade a la Provençale, Italian chambada, Turkish bugu kebabi, are indeed found all around the Mediterranean. Despite this, however, the lands bordering the Mediterranean Sea have distinct regional cuisines, from the Maghreb, Levant and Ottoman to the Italian, French, and Spanish. Each of those, in turn, has national and provincial variations. <laughs> Maghrebi Maghrebi cuisine includes the cuisines of Algeria, Libya, Morocco, and Tunisia. 
One of the most characteristic dishes of the region is couscous, a steamed, small-grained wheat semolina, served with a stew. The dish is ancient, mentioned by the medieval traveller Ibn Battuta, and found for example also in the Western Sicilian cuisine, especially in the province of Trapani, where it was reintroduced after 1600. One stew that may be served with couscous is the Moroccan tagine, a hearty, somewhat dry dish of meat and vegetables, cooked slowly in a pot called a tagine with a tall conical lid. Dishes from the Maghreb region of North Africa are often colored and flavored with the hot spice mixtures harissa and ras el hanu containing such spices as cumin, coriander, saffron, cinnamon, cloves, chilies, and paprika. Other characteristic flavorings of the region are preserved lemons and dried apricots and raisins. Egyptian Egyptian cuisine has ancient roots, with evidence that, for example, cheese has been made in Egypt since at least 3000 BC. Falafel are small fried croquettes of bean or chickpea flour, eaten across the Levant and the West, but originating in Egypt, they are claimed as theirs by Coptic Christians. Full medames, a stew of fava beans with oil and cumin, is popular in Egypt and has become widespread across the Arab world. Dukkha is a dip made of pounded herbs, hazelnuts, and spices, eaten with bread. Kushari is a foreign-derived 19th-century dish of rice, lentils and pasta, variously garnished. It began as food for the poor, but has become a national dish. Topic: <inaudible> Levantine. Levantine cuisine is the cooking of the Levant, including the Middle Eastern Mediterranean coast east of Egypt. Among the most distinctive foods of this cuisine are traditional small meze dishes such as tabbouli, hummus, and baba ganoush. Tabbouli is a dish of bulgur cracked wheat with tomatoes, parsley, mint and onion, dressed with olive oil and lemon juice. Baba ganoush, sometimes called, poor man's caviar, is a puree of aubergine with olive oil, often mixed with chopped onion, tomato, cumin, garlic, lemon juice, and parsley. The dish is popular across the whole of the eastern Mediterranean and North Africa. Full medames, originally from Egypt and still a national dish there, consists of fava beans with oil and cumin. It is popular throughout the Levant. The dish may be ancient, dried beans of Neolithic age have been found near Nazareth. Ottoman Ottoman cuisine has given rise to the cuisines of modern Turkey, parts of the Balkans, Cyprus, and Greece. A distinctive element is the family of small flaky pastries called boric. These are popular and widespread across the eastern Mediterranean region, and date as far back as ancient Roman times. Boric are made of thin sheets of phyllo pastry, filled with mixtures such as meat, caramelized onion, and sweet peppers. Another widespread and popular dish is moussaka, a baked dish of aubergine or potato with various other ingredients, often minced meat and tomatoes, sometimes a layer of egg custard or bechamel sauce on top. In its Greek variant, well known outside the region, it includes layers of aubergine and minced meat with custard or bechamel sauce on top, but that version is a relatively recent innovation, introduced by the chef Nicolaus Selimentes in the 1920s. Topic. Greek Much of Greek cuisine is part of the larger tradition of Ottoman cuisine, the names of the dishes revealing Arabic, Persian or Turkish roots, moussaka, tzatziki, uvarlikia, keftas and so on. Many dishes' names probably entered the Greek vocabulary during Ottoman times, or earlier in contact with the Persians and the Arabs. However, some dishes may be pre-Ottoman, only taking Turkish names later. The historians of food John Ash and Andrew Dalby, for example, speculate that grape leaf dolmatis were made by the early Byzantine period, while Alan Davidson traces Trahana to the ancient Greek tragos and Skordalia to the ancient Athenian skorithalmi. Greek cookery makes wide use of vegetables, olive oil, grains, fish, wine and meat, white and red, including lamb, poultry, rabbit and pork. Other important ingredients include olives, cheese, aubergine, courgette, lemon juice, vegetables, herbs, bread and yogurt. 
Some dishes can be traced back to ancient Greece, lentil soup, fasolata, retsina white or rosé wine flavored with pine resin and pastelli sesame seeds baked with honey, some to the Hellenistic and Roman periods, lucanico dried pork sausage, and Byzantium, feta cheese, avgodarajo and paximadia rusk. Lacerda pickled fish, mazithra cheese and desserts like diples, kulurakia, maustakulura and melamacarono also date back to the Byzantine period, while the variety of different pitas probably dates back to the ancient times. Italian Mediterranean Italian cuisine includes much of Italy outside the north and the mountainous inland regions. It is a diverse cuisine, but among its best known and most characteristic foods are risotto, pizza in Neapolitan and Sicilian styles, and pasta dishes such as spaghetti. Risotto is a dish made using Italian short grain rice, which is both highly absorbent and resistant to turning into a pudding when cooked with stock and flavored with onions and garlic, cooked in butter. Anna Gossetti della Salda's Book of Italian Regional Cookery lists 37 risotto recipes, 18 of them from the Veneto. Variations among Veneto risottos include additions of fish and white wine, chicken, eel, mushrooms and grated Parmesan cheese, quails, small pieces of beef, courgettes zucchini, clams, ragu, beans, mussels, prawns, cuttlefish, and asparagus. Pizza, or as David notes, pisaladina or pisaladi air. In Provence, the cuisines of Mediterranean France and Italy having something in common, is a piece of bread dough rolled out thin, with a topping which varies from place to place, but is generally much simpler than those in the English-speaking world. In Naples this is tomato, anchovies and buffalo mozzarella. In San Remo it is onions cooked in olive oil, with salted sardines. The Provençal variety uses onions, black olives, and anchovies. Spaghetti dishes also vary. It may be eaten as David says simply with olive oil and garlic, without cheese, or with a sauce of very red and ripe peeled tomatoes, cooked briefly and flavored with garlic and either basil or parsley. One Sicilian variant includes pieces of bacon, onions fried in fat, garlic, stoned olives, and anchovies, served with olive oil and grated Parmesan cheese. <laughs> French. Mediterranean French cuisine includes the cooking styles of Provence, Occitania, and the island of Corsica. Distinctive dishes that make use of local ingredients include bouillabaisse and salade niçoise. Bouillabaisse is a substantial dish from the French port of Marseille, capital of Provence. It is a stew for at least eight people, because it should contain many kinds of fish such as crayfish, gurnard, weaver, john dory, monkfish, conger eel, whiting, sea bass, and crab. These are cooked with Mediterranean vegetables and herbs, namely onions, garlic, tomatoes, thyme, fennel, parsley, bay, and orange peel. Salade niçoise is a colorful salad of tomatoes, tuna, hard boiled eggs, niçoise olives, and anchovies, dressed with a vinaigrette. Spanish Spain's varied Mediterranean cuisines includes the cooking of Andalusia, Murcia, Catalonia, Valencia, and the Balearic Islands. Paella is a characteristic Spanish dish, originally from Valencia, radiating early on to Catalonia and Murcia along Spain's Mediterranean coast. It comes in many versions, and may contain a mixture of chicken, pork, rabbit, or shellfish, sautéed in olive oil in a large shallow pan, with vegetables, and typically round grain rice often of the local albufera, aros bamba, sania varieties or similar cooked to absorb the water and colored with saffron. The dish may be varied with artichoke hearts, peas, sweet peppers, lima beans, string beans, or sausages. Anise spirits Anise is used around the Mediterranean to flavor spirits including French pastis and absinthe, Greek ouzo, Bulgarian mastica, Italian sambuca, Spanish anisado, Turkish reiki, Lebanese, Libyan, Syrian, Jordanian, Israeli and Palestinian Iraq, and Algerian anisette crystal. Mediterranean diet and cuisine 
The Mediterranean diet, popularized in the 1970s, is inspired by the cuisine of parts of Greece and Italy in the early 1960s. The American Diabetes Association writes about Mediterranean style eating, mentioning the traditional Mediterranean lifestyle of eating healthfully together among family and friends, and asserting that Mediterranean cuisine is plant-based, citing the ingredients, whole grains, fruits, vegetables, herbs and spices, beans, nuts, seeds, and olive oil, and stating that most foods, in a Mediterranean diet come from plants. The 1984 Gita all'Italia Gastronomica states that, around 1975, under the impulse of one of those new nutritional directives by which good cooking is too often influenced, the Americans discovered the so-called Mediterranean diet. The name even pleased Italian government officials, who made one modification, changing from diet—a word which has always seemed punitive and therefore unpleasant—to Mediterranean cuisine. A changing cuisine Since David wrote about Mediterranean food in 1950, and indeed since dietary researchers showed in the 1950s that people around the Mediterranean had less coronary heart disease than the peoples of Northern Europe, the traditional Mediterranean ways of life and of eating have changed. Increased wealth and busy lives have led people to eat more meat and less vegetables, their diet is becoming more Northern European, with more convenience foods and with less of a preventative effect on cardiovascular disease. See also Syrian cuisine European cuisine Palestinian cuisine Notes <laughs>